Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm showing you how to customize the F3 debug screen on Minecraft Java Edition. So this means you can show whatever information you actually want on your F3 screen instead of all of it at once. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials just like this one in the future. And so the F3 debug screen customization was added in Minecraft update 1.21.9, the Copper Age. And it's accessible by holding down the F3 key on your keyboard and then pressing F6, just like this. This brings you to the debug options screen. Now on some computers, you may have to hold Fn, then F3, and then F6. Otherwise, this may not show up. And if you're playing in a development version for this update, it may also be that you have to hold F3 and press F5 for the menu to show up. But for the full release and any releases afterwards, it's holding F3 and pressing F6 to bring you to this screen right over here. And so here you can customize what type of information you want to show in the F3 screen. So first of all, there are also profiles. So there's the default profile. This is what your F3 screen will normally look like. So that means it will show FPS, game version, memory, player position, player section position, simple performance indicators, system specs, TPS, and 3D crosshair, and that is it. And so that looks something like this. It's the stuff we're used to. But as you can see, you can add a lot to this to actually fill the screen up with a whole lot of information. You can add all of this to the F3 screen if you want it. And so once we do that, our F3 screen looks quite full right over here. But you also have the performance profile, which is a very reduced F3 screen. As you can see, it mainly shows what your performance is for your game. And it even shows your FPS when you don't have your F3 screen up, as you can see right there. Because in the performance profile, you have FPS set to always. So here it's also possible to show these things you normally only see in the F3 screen always on your screen. So that means that you can't get rid of it by pressing F3, as you can see right there. They're just on there by default, and they're even there when you're out of the game, as you can see right here. Those things are still here on our screen, even though we're not inside of a world. And you can always reset, of course, by just clicking the default profile. You can also search for options here if you want to search for one of them. And at the bottom right over here, there's also some debug renderers. So for example, there's a 3D crosshair, which changes your crosshair to this one right here. There's chunk borders, where you can see the borders between chunks. There's also chunk section octree, which looks quite crazy and will also lag your game quite a lot, especially if you have a high render distance. So this is already a lot better. But yeah, basically just a whole lot of information. And there's more here you can tweak around with as well. You can turn them all on, which looks totally insane, but it's possible if you want them. And so yeah, there we go. That's how to customize your F3 debug screen in Minecraft Java Edition version 1.21.9, the Copper Age. If you do have any more questions about this video, then please leave them in the comments down below. But anyway, there we go. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe.